Yeah, g'day viewers. Uh, just thought I'd have a little bit of a rundown on a little bit of history and the evolution of air filters for the 790 and 890. And then maybe rather than talking evolution, I'll show you a revolution. So the first of the bikes that came out uh, from the factory comes with the um, KTM paper filter and then we got uh, a foam filter set up which was a replacement for that one but the foam was actually bonded to the to the uh, case and you couldn't take it out and clean it then we got the revolution of the removable foam filter like you see here I actually have a little wire holder just to uh, keep it so it, it can't fall out uh, which is a two-piece foam filter and a lot of people ran them with for Australian conditions the pre-filters so these pre-filters went into the snorkels and the snorkels go into the back of your air box and that's what you're breathing through so you're breathing through two of those into the air box, through the air box, and into the engine. Um, the next evolution was the power plate from Rottweiler. Now this one I had on for a four day ride, um, 2,200 kilometers, uh, probably two thirds dirt roads, one third. Uh, seal. Um, it did have some dirt coming through in the in the main areas um, so you can see there's dirt on the insides and and that's the filter element from that ride uh, so that's what I've got on the 890 rally so I've got back now from the trip and put in the other air filter which is a coarser one and change the filter so that's where I've gone to with it and of course a lot of people have put in the Rottweiler air box my problem with it and uh, uh, you know not being negative about it is it still breathes from the wrong place for this bike it's getting dirty air when you ride beside another rider you see the especially with panniers that it's it's just funneling the dirty air from the front wheel and the back wheel into the air filter area and um, I'm not that happy about that so I propose rather than evolution that we look at a revolution and go down the route that has been done before, in, in fact, by Rottweiler, and repackage the whole thing into a revamped air intake up the front. <coughs> so, so this pre-filter will hold the actual air filter element in place but more importantly it will breathe where it should be breathing up here where the air is a lot cleaner so I'll just run you through my thinking here a little bit this is the plate where the intakes used to go into this airbox that I got, a second second hand airbox, and the trumpet goes inside, it turns about 30 degrees, and then it has a nice wider opening. So I've got two options here that I've been looking at, and I'll give you a bit of a close-up of them, so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, just as far as the repackaging of all this goes here's what I'm proposing 
So there's two options uh, which I've got here. One is a 50 mil and the other one is a 63 mil to 50 mil um, which can go on. They are very tight. These are silicon four ply intercooler hoses and um, you don't have to lube them to get them on but believe me you have to get them on and once they're on you can pull on them they are not coming off and that's without even putting the clamps on yet so what I've done here is purely a packaging exercise and the computer goes on the front here and clips on with these two big clips and all of these relays underneath clip onto these five and all I've done is cut the back of the battery box out to give us access here so that's that's where it sits down against this frame that's exactly in position and I had the seat exactly in clicked in correctly before I took this apart so what I'm saying is you know there's three options to go for here you know you can take this original intake cut it put a 90 degree bend on it cut it again and put it back together so that it has this inlet but I think a very similar thing is achieved with this 63 mil to 50 mil option which when it's trimmed to the right length like I've done with this one gets you exactly into the right position to have your air filter here so it would then breathe from up the front around the sides here up in the sides here and also I'm proposing that it would make sense to actually put some holes and some gauze in the cover the plastic cover that goes over here so that it's breathing from up here as well so I haven't actually done that to this one yet and then on top of that we will have the filter element which is the, the more fine filter and that's held on by the pre-filter which goes over the top of this complete unit like so which is a $12 item this is a $15 item and these silicon hoses are $25. So what I'm talking about here is something that anyone can do um, if they just want to try it as, as a packaging exercise. And the reason I'm thinking that the larger 63mm to 50mm is going to work better um, and I'd even chamfer the inside edge um, to be more like the original it's actually bigger than bigger than the original intake trumpet um, is because it has to go through a curve so um, you know it's a gradual taper down to the 90 degree and then that size is actually slightly larger than the intake on the original by, by slightly, I mean a millimeter. So I think you're going to have very similar flow characteristics up into the airbox with, with that. Um, I literally just picked that up today. Um, this is going to work for your pre-filter and then it's just a case of uh, repackaging everything. And the reason I say repackaging everything is because at the back here, um, I think you leave this so you can put the the original cover back on and you can you can get a tube or or two 
in this area behind where the air filter used to be and um, th this is exactly in the correct position um, and then cut this open so in this area here we'll have the battery and your tools or your tools can go into this area at the back here and a compressor or you know whatever um, and your tube can go in up the, up the front um, I'm going to put a, a lith, you know, uh, one of the lightweight batteries into this and um, get two, two cables extended for the batteries to get them in there. Everything else zip ties in place and it actually does go in place. Um, so yeah, this, this one, this air box, which, uh, which I've modified and taken out the uh, yeah taken out the the inlets which were there um, to get it to, to fit so um, there's probably a bunch of these kicking around that uh, people have put their Rottweiler ones on so yeah I'm just just gonna cut it and um, it actually has quite a large area in there for a lightweight battery and some other stuff so I just thought it was worthwhile having a look at this as purely a packaging exercise because I happen to have uh, uh, Alan's bike sitting here um, so I can take it apart and, and have a bit of a play with it but I don't think we've really been looking at the air intake problem quite like the rally raid guys do and almost all of their bikes breathe up there above the engine uh, with a with a you know serv easily serviceable filter system there. I mean this is literally a case of taking off the seat and uh, servicing this. So I'm not saying that this is the solution that I'm proposing that we go with. I'm saying that it can be packaged this way, and I will get this one working um, with another one of the 63 to 50 mil 90 bends and uh, <clears throat> see you know how it goes uh, the computer goes on the front so so with this box that I've modified you know um, everything is still held in in the factory way your seat still goes on to the factory mounts and it's still secure uh, the cover will have a few holes in it yes I would say it would be louder than uh, the standard intake by far uh, you know because it's going to be right there between your legs um, luckily I ride with noise cancelling headphones on if you haven't watched that video you're uh, not missing much but uh, yeah the, the noise cancelling ones uh, solve a lot of that issue for me and um, you're actually if you have a look through here you're actually going to be breathing air that's come through the radiator and come over your engine and around the ABS and um, down these sides and, and side pods and everything. I think that it's actually a negative for um, hot air to come into your intake area but from a energy efficiency standpoint, not a power output standpoint, it's actually not such a bad thing because the air is already preheated. So um, yeah, we're not trying to make this make extra power but um, the intake being a little bit hotter is not a major issue um, just to compare the parts in case anyone else wants to experiment with a different route um, there's your two battery boxes so it's just a case of cutting the back battery box mount parts out and um, transferring across these metal parts and the, the computer um, goes across. The computer is actually really sturdy. It's actually held in with these clips which um, go over these rubber mounts and um, it's anti-vibration and um, the uh, two clips that go on are um, waterproof, weatherproof and, and uh, jiggle proof. Proper, proper good setup there. Um, so the airbox, 
This is the uh, airbox out of the 790 after the last trip and it is crystal clear inside. I am not suggesting that the um, airbox as it is with the, the power plate is necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying is it worth experimenting and considering you know what it takes to uh, make this a better thing. Now the reason you've got to continue using the original air box is because that is uh, where your, your shock goes and this is actually part of your inner guard um, so it fills quite a big big hole here um, you know from a point of view of looking out to keep uh, mud and everything away uh, under your seat so um, the Rottweiler video for installing the uh, Pro intake um, is actually really good for disassembling your bike in the, the least number of steps possible. And, um, you know, it's uh, then good to have a look at and see how everything is packaged. You know, um, I'm sure that there's a, a reason from uh, an energy uh or, or uh, you know, volumetric efficiency reason why the intake should be a straight line, and uh, you know, that that's probably a, a factor of why they've done it this way. Um, but you know, this discussion is just about whether it's worthwhile having a look at repackaging this. Um, so the only uh, oily marks that are on my. Uh, intakes are actually uh, I think uh, air filter oil that uh, that gets sucked through so it's actually super super clean inside the uh, the intakes so um, yeah that's my uh, video this week I'm not sure whether it's a revolution but uh, you know I just think it's something worth uh, exploring and seeing whether it can go together and and uh, be usable. Um, it won't have as large a volume airbox uh, the way that I've done it, and the uh, the intake trumpets won't have a, a you know I guess a slow uh, steady air intake uh, volume like the original airbox. So it wouldn't surprise me if the torque characteristics change a little bit. And I'm not proposing that what I've put together here with a snorkel off a four-wheel drive and a, and a pre-filter off a four-wheel drive is going to be um, the answer. I think it needs to go onto a proper plate with a proper air filter and um, you know maybe even have a different um, cover behind the tank there to give it a bit more volume and um, you know that that could be a solution um, I'm just talking about this for the packaging you know the possibilities of packaging it in a different way that would solve some of our problems now in some countries you may not have an issue with this we have dust up the wazoo you know um, you can be riding along and a vehicle comes the other way and you've literally got to pull over and stop so you know we've also got very fine dust you know bull dust is like talcum powder so you know they're the factors that come into this kind of thing and why it's worth having a bit of a play and um, you know considering other options so uh, anyway comment down the bottom and let me know your thoughts good bad the other one that's all all fine this is purely and simply to uh, to uh, show you what I do when I've got uh, days in lockdown and can't go to the office and start thinking about things so uh, cheers thanks for watching have a good one and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see some more of these videos uh, there's a couple more coming up and a few more uh, bits and pieces so uh, yeah stay tuned thanks for watching cheers